Good morning, Wednesday morning. Today is supposed to be Powtoon Day, but instead, we're all going, as in me, Ellie, CEO of Powtoon, and Talia from the growth marketing team, we're all going to a Google event, the Google Cloud Summit in Tel Aviv. It's going to be a pretty massive event. Pretty excited about that. And then probably heading back to the Powtoon office after that. Several other meetings for the rest of the day. And tonight, back to Tel Aviv for a concert, classical music, I guess one might say, or Chazanos, which is Jewish classical music concert in Tel Aviv. Big fan. It's going to be a great day. Here we go. early. I can hear people. The Google event starts at 8.30. It's like 8.10 right now. I would imagine it's this way, just based on the noise. I've been to this Tel Aviv exhibition hall 400 times. Never been in this hall before. It always amazes me how small this country is and how many places there are. Roads and places and cities that I've never been to. This exhibition hall in Tel Aviv has like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 different halls. Never been to this one, but uh, surprising how loud it is at 8.15 in the morning. Read it, read it, read it. This is my human costume. Ben Pelle, the man himself. People and computers, baby. Tell me about this conference, baby. Tell me about the conference. What what year is it? Like, uh, I don't know, 10? How many years? People and computers, 40 years. 40 years, but how is this, this conference? Maybe 15, 15 that we've been producing it. My sister, Dana Pelle, she's a producer of, um, you know, one of the most amazing developer conferences in the world. Google Cloud Summit. And it's love it, dude. Love it. Yeah. Look at this good-looking guy. I'm Asaf from People and Computers. I lead FinTech Junction and future, future of AI. Beautiful. Beautiful. So apparently this convention center, Tel Aviv Convention Center, rebranded, and now it's called Expo Tel Aviv. And the big boss of Expo Tel Aviv is Wait. right here. What's your name? Hi, good morning. I'm morning. Aya Alon. I'm a sales manager here. At Expo Tel Aviv. At Expo Tel Aviv. How big is this Very place? Very to have it you here. It looks humongo jungle. How big is this place? Give me eight. some numbers. It's got eight different pavilions. One of them is pavilion number two, which is the largest one in in the Middle East. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. And awesome. we're very proud to host Google today, Google Cloud. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. How many people do you know? How many people come here today? Around 5,000 people today. What? Yeah, it's one of our largest conventions, and we're very I happy that I didn't even know we had 5,000 people in all of Israel. It's like a tiny little country. 5,000 developers, 5,000 geeks. I love it. Yeah. It's great it's to meet you. It's got a lot of buzz. Thank you so much Thank for coming so on camera. I only had to Thanks put a gun to, put a gun to her. I had to make her go on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank okay. you. This is a long, when I say long overdue, not like a few months overdue, like 10 <laughs> years overdue meeting, like yeah. literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we've been connected online with Twitter, yeah, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everything for literally a decade. Yeah. Completely insane. Meeting now for the first time. Who are you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Matthew Yeager. Matthew Yeager. Uh, I am a startup architect with the Google Cloud for Startups uh, program. Uh, in, in, in London. In, in London with family in Israel and now an extended mishpocha with Hillel uh, and his tribe. So, so not to be a downer on the interview, but in his pocket, he has the kippahs that he's going to wear at the Western Wall tomorrow. That is the Ari logo, my brother, my late brother. That's pretty incredible. But okay, we're putting that aside for one second. I'm trying to be, you know, I mean, it's enough positivity about Ari. It's not like a negative thing. But so, wait, how long have you been at Google? Uh, I've been at Google officially for six months. Wow, I didn't realize it was that little. Yeah. Where were you before again? Remind me. I did five startups in about six years. Oh, you're, one, uh, you're one of those. I was I was one of the cereal founders, but oh. not breakfast cereals. Yeah, not tricks and things like that. <laughs> Love it. All right. Well, all I have to say is keep sending me swag. That's all. Always, always and, happy to, um, to do that. What, what does it mean to be a startup architect at Google? What do you actually do? Uh, well, uh, everyone in the team. Uh, there's Dan Benjamin here in Tel Aviv. Uh, there's myself in London. There's uh, Jerome um, in uh, Singapore. Uh, we're all ex-founders, so we understand what it's like to go through MVP to product market 
to fit, you know, all of the trials and tribulations and how to essentially, you know, help startups be successful uh, with and frankly sometimes without Google. Love we it. can help them do that. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. How often do you come to Israel? This, I've not been in Israel for a little while, uh, but I will now be coming come more far, often. far more regularly, yes. It's pretty incredible, the energy in this room, right? I have to tell you, it, I've not been in a few years and the, the traffic uh, reminded me of San Francisco. Yeah, the yeah. energy, uh, my son who will be bar mitzvah uh, next year, he's trying to uh, learn conversational Hebrew. And in London, no one talks to you, and in Israel, everyone talks to you. Come to tweet me. We'll have a conversation in oh, Hebrew. That'd be great. I just called over uh, Eli Patan, uh, like the CEO of Powtoon. He's coming over. I want to introduce you guys. But dude, keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. And, and uh, yeah, man, it's, it's great. I'm really happy we got to meet. Way overdue. But I gotta, you gotta bring me out to London, dude. I'm, I'm happy to do let's, that. Let's do More that, man. Happy. Seriously, I haven't been there since 25 years ago. Uh, we'll make sure that you Something get like well that. fed. My wife is a kosher butcher. Oh, really? Yeah, really. But do me one favor. Yeah. Take care of the weather before I get there. <laughs> Seriously, man. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks we'll, for coming we'll on, man. Thanks for having me. Out. Thanks. So literally, Ellie's like, who else should I meet here at the conference? I'm like, come over to the start. I need you to meet my friend Matthew. Turns out he's like, wait a second, Powtoon? I use Powtoon. He's been using Powtoon yeah, for a long for time, for yeah. training and for presentations. Yeah. And now Google is an official Powtoon customer. Yeah. So we're going to make this a more official relationship. I'm telling you, dude, this is why I always say conferences are valuable. So you never know. Like, in a million years, I would never have thought this would have happened. But like, you just watch. It's going to be, it's going to yield got, some I business. Meet, I got to meet two heroes in one day. <laughs> there you go. You're on it as a go, really. I used to choose uh, your cartoon because uh, who doesn't like to watch a cartoon? And it's insanely difficult sometimes to explain really complicated technical things uh, with words or even videos. So sometimes I'll do a hands-on demo, but being able to just structure it with a cartoon, uh, I was getting demos of 15 or 20 minutes down to like less than three minutes as a cartoon that people just got. So I have to give a little bit of a shout out here because over the years, and again, I don't mean to be a downer, but over the years, Ari you know, was pretty vocal on Facebook and he um, you know, expressed his opinion on political stuff. And let's just say our enemies would mass report him, even though he didn't really do anything illegal. And I was fortunate many years ago, not so many, but a couple of years ago to be in the synagogue in Palo Alto when someone made an introduction to a nice lady named Adina Katz who worked at Facebook. What was your official title at Facebook? What did you do like, officially? Uh, spam specialist and then program manager, project manager. Project manager. Yeah. So before that you were? At Google. At Google and then Facebook. And at Facebook, I would often, I hope not too often, but sometimes, somewhat often, send you, listen, he was banned and this is what he did. And of course, you never like, you always did what your job was to do. In other words, you didn't break any rules, but when there was something that he did that didn't violate any rules, you would help me get his Facebook reinstated. Is yeah. that an accurate description? Yeah. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. Yeah. And what do you do now? Uh, now I'm working at Zerto and I lead the data and analytics group. What is Zerto? Give me an elevator pitch. Zerto essentially provides server recovery and, and backup, and in the case of a disaster, we'll get you up and running in minutes. Love it. Zerto.com? Uh, yes. Beautiful. Fantastic to catch up. We'll have a cup of coffee soon. Cool? Sounds great. Love it. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm about to leave Google, the Google Cloud Summit here and head back to Powtoon HQ, but there was no way that I was leaving before meeting this guy. So before I even tell you who he is, we connected through Miriam Schwab, Stratic, who you know I'm an advisor. You're also an advisor there, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. We're not going to say anything right now, but we will say that there's big news coming from Stratic in the near future. That's all I'm saying right now. Now, sit down, because I'm standing next to someone who you, I don't want to embarrass you, but you're kind of like objectively a legend in the world of tech. You know you are. Like, if you say so. It's like, a, no, it's actually objective. <laughs> like you, okay. What's your name? My name is, is uh, Zev Sarasky. Zev Sarasky, okay. Yeah. Who is Zev Sarasky? What, do you, what have you done in your life? So all sorts of things, but I think specifically you probably think to my involvement with the education of the PHP language. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so. It, it, I mean, it is not even, it, it might be a slight exaggeration, but not by much to say you're like one of the inventors of the internet. <laughs> One of the inventors of uh, one of the pillars of the internet would be fair, yeah. PHP. Yeah. Okay, like if, if my mother's watching, explain to her what that means, that you invented PHP. Okay, so PHP is uh, one of the key development languages, development platforms for, uh, for the web, uh, has been for since the late 90s and still is today. Guns, uh, uh, depending, depends on who you're asking, guns between uh, 30 to 70% of the web, which is huge, still ridiculously popular today. Uh, most of the content management systems that are available today are all based on PHP. So WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, those are three of the top 10, uh, including the top two. So- What about uh, Wix, by the way? Curious. I, I is, that, is, that a I mean, sour, is that a sore point? <laughs> it's, it's not a sore point. I believe they have been using PHP. I don't know if they still do. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, WordPress is, and WordPress alone is something like 35% of the web or so. so. On behalf of the 
viewers, because I know what they're thinking right now. <clears throat> How is it possible you are one of the inventors of PHP? How old are you? I'm uh, 43 years old. First of all, you look super young, but beyond that, like, <laughs> when was PHP invented? So, the the, the predecessor for uh, for PHP was named PHP Fi, and that was created in 1995 by a guy named Dustin Slurdorf. Uh, this is before our time. We joined, we and I say we, it's Andy Gutmanns, uh, a friend of mine from the Technion, and myself joined the development team in 97. We kind of created the development team together with him before, because beforehand it was a one-man show. We created a brand new implementation. It's, it's a bit of a long story, but we created a brand new implementation, and this implementation, beyond our wildest dreams, mainly because we won't even you know, imagining it became ridiculously popular. Unbelievable. Like so, like you know, when I talk about Israeli tech about around the world, right? You see, you know, look what Israel's invented, right? The thumb drive and ways. But you, you're on that list, man. Like you, like this is a significant part of the internet runs on the technology that you invent. That's just, how do you, like, I mean, how To be it? fair, it, it's it's a group effort, but I, it's fair to say that Andy and myself, both Israelis, were right. instrumental in, at the creation of it. Incredible. And uh, yeah, kind of helped shape it to be what it is today. Incredible. What have you been doing <laughs> since then? Like, what have you been doing for the past? So, back in 2000, uh, Andy and I founded a company named Zen Technologies, which uh, um, provided commercial backing for PHP. Develop, help develop PHP itself. So the brain of PHP, the, all of the major performance evolution of PHP, uh, or most of it anyway, in the last 20 years has been done by, by us. And we also provided all sorts of value add support for companies who are using PHP. Again, PHP was born out of a hobby project for, for a bunch of people, but very quickly became uh, a business critical component in incredible. You like, many companies. You, you like go to know. sleep at night saying like I invented the internet, whatever. Anyway, dude, listen. <laughs> honestly, like super honored, like starstruck to meet you. Super pumped to be uh, collaborating with Stratic together, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna catch up soon and talk tech. Meanwhile, oh, wow. I, I don't usually have my business cards, but I'm at a conference. So here, here's a business card. Wow, that's for you. you. And I'm wearing this weird shirt on my thing that I got to open. You got some Google for startup swag. I love that. Anyway, dude, I'm really, really happy you got a chance to meet. And uh, Me meanwhile, before, you know, till our next time we meet, if there's anything ever I can do to help you in any way, I don't know if such a thing exists, but do let I'm me sure know. It does. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to catching up, you know, more in depth, talking business. Absolutely. Thanks, dude. Appreciate Thank it. Fantastic morning at the Google Summit, heading now to Pout 2 and HQ, because we have some big, big things coming that I'm working on with the team. Very excited to be uh, announcing soon. Stay tuned for that, heading in right now. Productive afternoon at Powtoon, working on some cool stuff there. Made it home at around half an hour downtime, heading back to Tel Aviv tonight for a concert of uh, classical music, Hazanut, and um, one of the singers there is a guy named Shalom, I think that's how it's pronounced. I've been following him for a long time. We connected this week on social through like 18 different intros, and um, hopefully gonna be meeting him and going out with him after the concert. So I'm pumped about that, and uh, tomorrow is going to be a pretty relaxed day, but I'm meeting some cool people. See you then.